Hello dear friends, happy life, chapter 195. People aspiring to a better future for humanity must contribute to educate and improve the lives of children. Whatever is invested in children will be returned with interest. The investment of love will return us saving grace, whereas abandonment will return us crime and disgrace. If you lack specific resources to help children, at least offer them sound advice and examples that will encourage them to become good citizens when they grow up. Build today for a better tomorrow. So today's lesson, it's pretty straightforward and reminds us of the importance of educating our children. When we talk about the problems of the world, when we talk about um, when we look at our society, the immense problems that we face today, uh, some of them seem uh, absolutely unsolvable for the time being. We need to bring two important pieces uh, to our minds. One is that we need to think about life and put life into the perspective of immortality and um, to link reincarnation and progress to understand that we will evolve because we have been evolving because this is the law and this is a work of time, a work of multiple generations that will gradually uh, bring new ideas and these new ideas will be implemented and a new society will gradually uh, be built person by person, generation by generation, um, incarnation by incarnation. But the key factor in this process is um, education. So how do we solve the problems of the world, no matter what they are, uh, what problem we we're talking about? The long-term solution, the solution that tackles uh, the problem by uh, the root, uh, the cause, is educating the future generations, educating the generations that will be leading in the future. So we have a big responsibility. I think a lot of times people, I have heard so many times people asking me these questions, how this is going to be solved, you know? And they are seeking for a quick solution, a quick fix for massive problems. There is no quick fix. Um, so it will be solved, maybe not on time for us to see the solution of certain problems, but it will be solved at the right time. And so our role in the process is to invest in what today is uh, the future generation. They will be receiving us in the future when we return as their grandchildren or whatever. And so it's not like um, it doesn't matter what's going to happen in the future of this society or, or this planet. It is, we, it is our home, the home that we will return one day. Uh, for sure will be a better place, but how much better depends on the work that's being done today. So maybe you don't have a child uh, of yours at this moment, but we are surrounded by children and we all have a role to play. Uh, nieces, uh, kids who are... Um, from a friend and lending an interesting and curious ear to a child, engaging conversation, engaging personal interaction. In these days, it means so much. It's such an important thing to, to teach our children uh, how to socially relate, how to look at someone in the eyes, how to be attentive, how to be empathic. Um, simple but not so simple skills because our children with the technology all the beauty of technology are becoming unskilled in this very basic uh, societal skill which is the skill of relating so there's a lot that can be taught uh, either um, on the intellectual realm in the moral realm values uh, references examples our world needs people who can set good example, peaceful examples, um, ethical examples. And so each one of us can be that example in the life of a child, in the life of someone who will benefit from um, the example that we are putting forth and, um, and learning. And, and that is a law of solidarity. We all 
helping one another, teaching each other, and our children, become, like Joana says here, you know, it's an investment that will bring a profit, that will bring an incredible return, a return of peace, a return of betterment, um, and more, a more harmonious and peaceful and joyful a place for all of us to live. So have a great day and let this lesson inspire you to be that example of goodness, of kindness, and of a moral human being. God bless us all.